Hello and welcome to the first episode of a new Naval Action series. This series will be covering uh, all the DLC paints available for the ships in the game. Now this will exclude any DLC ships, this is only in-game ships that we'll be covering. Um, if you don't know what paints are in Naval Action, there is a DLC you can buy called the Naval Action Painter on the uh, Naval Action Steam page. If you go to the top left under your redeemals where your DLCs are, you'll find the Naval Action Painter um, if you have the DLC bought. Pressing redeem brings up a new window and here we are able to select our ship class, the ship and what type of paint. In this series we'll be uh, covering a all the ships and divided in by the ship classes starting on the lower end with the rank 7th and working our way up. I'll slowly be going through each of the paints, uh, just swirling around the ship, showing you off the paint and then changing to the next one and slowly go through it. So um, let's just get into it. Now first up we'll select the 7th uh, ranks. And the first ship that comes up on the ship list is a cutter. Now this is not the basic cutter that you get in the beginning, but this is a built cutter. Um, whether the paints actually transfer over, I have yet to determine, but I may put that in the notes if I find that out. Find that out. Anyway, selecting the cutter, zooming in a bit just to get a bit better picture of the paint. Now as you come up and open the window, it does not automatically change the paint. One thing to note as you use the Naval Action Painter is that with any paint selected, as soon as you press OK, it will redeem that paint for that ship for you. And you can only redeem a paint every 24 hours. Something to notice. One ship per 24 hours. So don't click OK unless you know that's the paint you want. What you can do is press Preview and it will show you the paint on the ship. So this is the first cut of paint called Centaur. Uh, mainly a black hole with uh, white and blue and red outline. Pretty neat looking compared to the uh, ordinary yellow hole. Next up on the list, there's only two for the cutter. Is Rouge, or however it's pronounced. I may butcher a name or two during this series, just be warned. Um, mainly a uh, black color. Same lines as before, but with the difference change. Um, going from all black to very black grayish white and an off gray. Um, still very cool looking little ship. Not that you'll be using that much, but it's good to have the option. So only two options available for the cutter. All right, let's find our next ship on the list. The next lip, uh, ship on the list, and I'll have to scroll through, is the puny little gunboat. Fun little item to use. Um, I'm not going to go into the ships themselves, but here's the gunboat for you. The gunboat has the same, uh, has some of the same similar, uh, same colors almost, but they vary it up. You have one option. And it's called fire ship. This is the basic one. What I meant with the same colors is it looks a little like the cutter with the yellow and white outlines. But the only color available for the gunboat is called fire ship. And it looks like this. Looks more like a rescue boat or something like that. Um, so yeah, dark brown uh, underside, red and white outline with a few black and blue, black and green, green blue colors thrown in. So that is the fire ship paint for your gunboat. Next up on our list is the Lynx. So let's find that in our port. The Lynx is a uh, good ship for uh, navigating around, quickly changing to a new outpost or something like that if you don't have enough teleports or are setting up new outposts. It can be pretty speedy. Now the Lynx has a few options, three of them. This is the basic color and if we... Um, why is this not showing up? Hold up. There we go. Just have to reset it.
Here we go. Now it's showing the links. Basic color is a black bottom, red line, and a white detail. And the first up, the Santa Lucia changes uh, the uh, freeboard uh, size to green and red colors. Um, not much detail on the back. Second up is Swede. Obviously, with the name implied, it changes the details to a yellow and blue, uh, and internal siding is red. Pretty cool color. And the last for the links is called Yellow Line. Same areas that get changed out, but here you have the blue changed out for a white, off white color, and a bit more darker red on the inside. So that's the three options for the Lynx. The Santa Lucia, the Swede, and the Yellow Line. Let's get up the next ship. And the next ship in the line is the Pickle. Sorry for this clicking back and forth. But it does not always update down here and let you preview unless you close down the painter DLC. So this is a pickle in its base colors. Some yellow and green trims on it. The first one, again, the rouge with the uh, mainly black um, or very dark gray colors and the white outline. Not much detail on the back. And that's the only one you actually have for the pickle. But it is an upgrade compared to the regular colors, if you want to stand out a bit more when you go about in your pickle. Right, the next ship up is the Privateer. The Privateer's base colors are actually pretty neat. Uh, I like the uh, dark gray slash black uh, combination with the red. Uh, and the green internals. Once again, going back to the sevens, finding our privateer. First one up is called Fisherman. And it comes up with this um, alternatively <laughs> colored scheme here. I, I don't know, something draws me to this green lime color. Uh, and something about it is just off-putting. I can't really tell if it's the red, reddish-brown siding on the inside that's throwing me off. I don't know. It both draws and kind of color clashes. I don't know. Anyway, we have another one. And there's only two for the privateer, the fisherman, and then the brown velvet. A bit more muted colors uh, on the outside with the mainly wooden brownish colors. Uh, but with this blue on the inside, I actually like this one. I would have wished for them to maybe on um, some of them change the mask colors a bit more because I do find that uh, ochre color clashes a bit with some of the main colors that are changing. But that's a personal preference, and that is what the painted DLC is. It's just a bit of flash, basically. But that are the two colors for the privateer, the uh, fisherman and the brown velvet. Now the next ship up on the line is the trade cutter. Let's set that on up. And you'll see it looks pretty much like the uh, regular cutter or the basic cutter. Um, but it is a different ship. It's built for trade as the name implies. Finding it in the list. And share some colors with the other one, the Centaur again, with the white and blue and the red line. Um, but yeah, and here you can see what I mean about the mast and the bowsprit and stuff like that, uh, changes in colors um, to fit a bit more with the paint scheme. Again, personal preference. Uh, the second option is the Rouge, or oh, it's not Rouge, I can't pronounce it. Anyone with, I think it's French, um, let me know in the comment section, please. Again, um, the uh, black hole, white and grayish outlines, and then you have this dull whitish gray 
um, color on the mast. I do like that that they incorporate the colors all the way around the ship and not just to the hull and keep the upper masts and whatnot. Red details are on some of the parts are quite good. So that's the two colors for the uh, tray cutter. And the last one in this little snippet is a trade links. So let's go in and find the trade links. Once again, open it up, choosing that seventh rate or rank sevens, bottom of the list, Trader Links, which has a few options, Santa Lucia Suite and Yellow Line, basically the same as the Links itself. First up, the Santa Lucia, again, the uh, red detail with the uh, green paneling on the inside. Up next, the Swede. Again, the blue line with the yellow smaller lines across. Again, the mask has been changed to a brown. I do like that color, but as a Dane, I can't really sell Swedish colors, can I? Anyway, moving on. The last one is called Yellow Line. And again, the off white in the center, outlined by two yellow lines and the black hole and the red inside. Another great little color. So this was covering all the uh, rank seven ships that are uh, available to be painted through the uh, Naval Action Painter DLC. Next short episode, we're gonna be covering the uh, rank six uh, and all the way through. This is gonna be fairly short videos in this series, but I do hope you find them useful as there are currently not that much information out on the Painter DLC. So, until next episode, I hope you all are well, stay safe, and don't forget to either comment, like, dislike, and all that jazz. So, stay safe.